Good evening, everyone. My name is Nicole Ferrara. I'm here on behalf of Walk San Francisco, um, a local pedestrian advocacy organization, to talk to you about Vision Zero, a movement to end all traffic deaths in our cities. Um, here in San Francisco, our goal is by 2024. And uh, when we talk about traffic deaths and pedestrian safety, I um, just want to talk about the fact that everybody walks, regardless of where, you know, if you got somewhere by a car, by bike, at some point you're going to be walking. And you are the city's most vulnerable user, but you're also experiencing something so great. Um, walking in San Francisco is fantastic. Um, we have a very walkable community, we have beautiful weather, um, it hasn't rained in a really long time, so that makes walking fun. Um, so we love to walk. We also um, have some of the highest rates of walking to work. Every year, Wakaset hosts the nation's only walk to work day because we have such a high number of people that actually walk to work. But on the other hand, there are certain things that make our city unsafe to work, uh, to walk, to walk, not to work, um, and really kind of unattractive to walk. And these are the same things that are causing kind of this, um, this the rate of traffic injuries that we don't actually um, grapple with on a regular basis and we don't actually really think of in, as, as injuries or a severe problem. But every day, three people are hit by cars in San Francisco. We have 60% of all traffic deaths are pedestrians. Um, for every one person involved in gun violence in San Francisco, there are five people involved in traffic violence. But we don't talk about it as traffic violence. We don't think about it that way. We think of them as mere accidents. But they're not accidents. Um, when you walk into the emergency room at SF General, one in four people are there who are in that trauma center are people who have been hit by cars while walking. These are severe injuries, life-changing <coughs> injuries, life-ending uh, injuries. Um, and we're, most of all, we know where these crashes are happening. We're using data, we're partnering with the Department of Public Health to map out where these most dangerous streets are. And just 6% of streets are accounting for over 60% of severe and fatal injuries. So why is that? Um, we know the behaviors that cause these injuries. Speeding is top behavior. Red light running, failing to yield to pedestrians. Um, so I want to highlight, I'm going to talk a little bit more about why speeding is such a crucial factor that we need to, to address. Um, for every 10 people that get hit by cars, um, if, you're going, if, that, if you're hit by a car going 40 miles per hour, one out of 10 people survive. But at 20 miles an hour, over, eight, or, oh, sorry, over nine out of 10 people survive. So um, speeding has huge impacts on survivability of a crash, um, we know that it actually takes a lot longer to stop when you're speeding, right? So um, the, your abil ability to react is a lot slower. You can also, you also have tunnel vision when you're speeding. So you're looking way down ahead of you. So you're not seeing that kid chasing his ball out into the middle of the street. Um, so speeding is really at the heart of this. So what are we going to do about it? Um, so I'm talking about the problem, but how are we going to address it? So first thing is, uh, is understanding that these aren't accidents, that they're predictable and preventable. We know where they're going to happen, and we know what behaviors are going to cause them to happen. Um, and this is not, you know, we're not paving a hugely new path. Sweden has adopted a Vision Zero goal. They founded it, they adopted it in, 1990s, in the 1990s, and since, they've been reducing the number of traffic deaths while increasing the number of people driving. Other cities across the country are also adopting Vision Zero goals. San Francisco and New York really kind of paved the way around Vision Zero, and we've seen, we're seeing every day new, more and more and more cities kind of signing on around this movement to of traffic justice. And at the core of this movement is engineering. It's creating a transportation system where we assume people are going to make mistakes because we're human, and making sure that that transportation system accounts for it. So what does that actually mean? Well, Things like slowing down traffic, speed humps. Um, there, there's tons of data that goes into how we can actually make our streets more human friendly. Smaller, narrower streets. More space for people, more efficient use of our streets. Um, but most of all, what we really need is, are people to come out and support this movement. People to say, I don't want to put my life at risk. I don't want to put my grandfather, my son, my daughter, my mother's life at risk. <laughs> just by walking around our city. So we've developed the Vision Zero um, Coalition, and we work towards that goal. But I, what we really need are, is everyone to work towards that goal. We need folks like you to come out and support and hold your hands up and say, 
traffic justice is an issue and we need to achieve justice on our streets. Thanks.